Yo, what's up guys, Jack here and welcome back to a bit of a different video today. Um, I'm going to be speaking about a big, big change in FIFA Ultimate Team and it's happening right now, FIFA 15, um, it's been announced on the 9th of March, which is, the reason why I'm saying that date is it's quite still, it's about halfway into FIFA 15. Uh, we'll get into why it's kind of like an important thing to say, but the big change is it's called a price range, I'll probably put a picture on the screen right now, of uh, of Messi, he's 93 rated, it's the normal Messi card, which um, I'd say about two months into FIFA, you could probably pick him up for like two or three million coins, maybe even less. Um, and on that screen it says, you can only list them for 5 million coins or 7.5 million coins maximum. So basically, it's restricting the market. And the idea of this, there's many reasons as to why they're doing this. Um, and the main reason would be to reduce coin selling. By reducing coin selling, it means that the, the average or the normal user will get a better experience from the game. Now, I think a lot of YouTubers have got this twisted as to think that they would get a better experience from the off. Like, you know, straight away. Um, of course not. Like, I've seen a lot of YouTubers say... You know, in a sarcastic way, for example, oh, you know, Team Lee Ronaldo, you know, clap, 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 he's, he's 12 million coins minimum, maximum 15 million coins. For example, don't know his actual price. Uh, so they're saying, you know, how is an average user going to get their hands on a Team of the Year Ronaldo? This is what YouTube is saying. Now, first of all, I've got to say, not every player is supposed to get their hands on a Team of the Year Ronaldo. A lot of these players that are price fixed, let's call it price fixed, or, you know, and their price range is very, very high, are actually set that way because they EA want them to be an extremely rare card um, so that when the packs do come around for team of the year you spend a lot of money on thief points now obviously we've gone past that time of the year for team of the year now they've probably implemented this thinking right we're going to test this out through team of the season if it goes well we're going to keep this for FIFA 16 if it doesn't it doesn't and we haven't screwed up a, a game you know that's just been released now Touching on that subject, why haven't they done this at the start of FIFA 16? Because if this did happen at the start of FIFA 16, right, uh, Messi could have a fixed lower price of 500,000 and a maximum price of 1 million coins. There'd be no coin selling from the off, um, unless say, there's no loopholes for coin selling, uh, for example. Um, you know, that would be a very expensive price for Messi. That would be that would make me want to open some packs every now and again to see if I can get that Messi. About the same time, it's also given the normal user of the game, um, let's say the the actual chance to get Messi, to save up for Messi, right? Because um, if he's going for 500,000 coins to a million coins, um, you could probably do that in three months flat if you play the game a lot, or maybe six months if you play the game, you know, let's say 10, 20 hours a week or something. I, I'm not sure on the exact maths, but let's talk, you know, let's imagine that FIFA 16, they do keep this price range. They're probably going to add more coin bonuses for each game. Um, so that's probably a thing. Now let's talk about trading, because how is it going to affect trading? I mean, the problem with this, this, this subject is, within the people that use the game properly, there are people that abuse the game. So... When, you know, are they bothered about people that can't trade? Not massively. Like, you know, do they do they really care? All they care about is how much money they get. They're a business. They're a company. Um, some companies strive to make the experience better for the user to get more money, um, to have a better name. For example, someone like a, a company like Bungie, um, they do so many good things, you know, like releasing Halo, Halo 2 and Halo 3. But do they get a lot of money for that? No. Uh, do it would EA you know release old games on you know current gen? Probably not because they just want the most amount of money. They just want to rinse how much money they get. Which is not me having a dig at them. I'm just saying there's different types of companies, and EA is a company that they'll do everything where and they can to just get that little bit of money, and it's gonna happen like that. And you're probably thinking, oh, I'm just being a bitch because I'm a YouTuber. And I get paid a lot of money through coin coin selling. Well, obviously I'm not being a bitch. I'm I'm trying to get to see it from EA's point of view, my point of view, and a normal person's normal user's point of view. Um, so let's talk about does it fix the game? No, it doesn't fix the game. Um, is this price range going to be a, a permanent thing? At this, you know, are the sorry, are the prices going to be a permanent thing? No. So for example, uh, I think I've seen True Boy and you know some other people. Roy Hod Roy, what's his name? Roy Hodgson, Hodgson, I fucking knows. I don't know who he is because he doesn't even, he's not even in the FIFA community anymore. But anyway, he was the community manager. Um, but let's say this messy guy, yeah, he goes for 5 mil and 7.5 mil max. Uh, this is the first price ranger. In say two, three weeks' time, they're probably going to take it down. And then they're going to take it down another notch. And they're going to take, so hopefully, or from their point of view, they're going to be putting price ranges on players of what they, what they think should sell for. 
Um, is this going to work? That is the big question because if it doesn't work, they're going to have to revert it back or they're going to have to remove it. Or another reason as to why it might not work is uh, coin sellers find a loophole in their system, which um, by the way is probably very, very likely because EA's, the way that EA works is just fucking shit. Like, they're, they're just terrible the way they have, their security is terrible, right? So how are they going to stop... Um, Coin sellers. I mean, really, um, this is this is a great. This is probably one of the best ideas they've ever come up with. Is it going to stop them? I'd say ninety percent chance. No, um, not because I know a fix for it or a loophole for it, but I know there's some clever bugger out there that will be thinking, right? You know what? I'm getting. I'll get paid a lot of money right now for selling coins. They've just given me another paycheck because when I figure out a certain way to do this, I can sell this idea to some. This. What are EA, what are EA fixing really? I think they're just doing this on the run up to team of the season um, to make people want to buy MSP points. And if it works, they'll keep it for FIFA 16. Most likely, they won't. It won't work, so it won't be there for FIFA 16. But they're obviously they want to crack down on this, and this is a, a very very big attempt. Now, guys, another point to talk about here is a pro, which is you know a little pro that comes out of a big con. Uh, which, well, for me, it's a big con because I don't get paid as much. I'm going to be honest. I'm, that's, that's that's massive to me. Obviously, it's my job, so I'm going to be mad. But at the same time, we'll talk about some other other reasons why it's, it's, it's not great. But um, you should it should reduce hacking. So by reducing hacking, you're effectively giving more time to EA. They're, they're solving more issues. There's going to be less cards listed on the market, less packs opened, less activity to be tracking. So potentially, we should be seeing some better servers from EA. Um, you know, when you go to the store and it says you can't get in the store, that should happen less, um, if not complete, not at all. I mean, if hopefully not at all. Um, how many times do you get lagged out of a game? Quite a lot these days. Why? Because the, uh, what EA say is because of all the ha you know all the hacking and all the coin selling. We'll see if that's the problem, won't we? When uh, when this has been uh, now taken out of the game or potentially taken out of the game. So we'll see if it's really made a difference. And if it isn't, there's going to be a big revolution. There's going to be a big um, amount of people going against this because um, it's changed the game massively. Uh, the transfer market is a massive part of the game and um, this ain't no transfer market. This is, a, this is a controlled market by EA which is uh, something that as a, as a normal user you're not going to like anyway. Uh, never mind a YouTuber or someone that has been playing a game uh, as an enthusiast for a long time. Now, how is it going to affect a YouTuber? How is it going to affect me? So I'm going to talk to, talk about the financial side first of all, um, which some people will be like, why are you, why are you doing that? Um, you know, everyone knows you earn good money from coin sponsors. People put it on fucking Twitter all the time. Probably the people that don't want me to talk about it put it on Twitter all the time. But um, let's say, for example, this isn't me. This is no one else. I'm just giving an example, a very easy mathematical example of how much difference this is going to make for someone. So let's say you earned... £10,000 on a monthly basis as a YouTuber. Um, you get paid through ad revenue from YouTube um, and you'll get paid as a coin sponsor and if you have any MSP points and you know all that other stuff but they're the big ones. The YouTube um, ad revenue and coin sponsor. Now coin sponsor, obviously it's different for every person, will be anywhere between I'd say 40 and 70% of that person's paycheck. So if someone gets paid £10,000 they're now going to get four, four thousand to seven thousand pounds less per month. So you're going to see a lot of mad people, and it's going to be affecting me in that kind of way as well. I'd say it's about sixty percent of my paycheck, which I'm not going to tell you because that's just stupid of me to do that. Um, but it's going to be massive. It is going to be fucking huge for some people. It's going to be life changing. Um, there's going to be people right now um, that left college, left university, left you know, put so much on the line. Um, they were getting paid really good money. Let's say, I'm not going to put any money things out there, but they were getting paid good money, and now they're going to come to the conclusion: you know what? Without coin selling in here, this is just a normal job or a normal paid job, which I put in 10 hours work a day into, um, and potentially could stop at any time. Um, when really, it's 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 a very good job prospect now because obviously you can earn like two or three times the amount that you could with without coin selling. So it's going to be a big, big, big change. Um, Let's talk about the YouTuber's video quality. So, without coin selling, is the YouTube video quality going to go up? I hope so. Um, I hope mine goes up. Um, hopefully, you you know, viewers of content will click on people's content to watch their content. Will it? Will they do that? No. Um, people love clicking on clickbait titles. Um, I know that because I, I I do it every now and again. I, I'll I'll put out a video. Um, 
let's say Ribery is in pack, inform Ribery. I'll call it an inform Ribery pack opening. I didn't say he's, he's in the packs. Um, you know, slight twist on words, clickbait title. But people love packs. They love the fact that they're watching someone spend money and watching a gamble. Like, you'll see people just going to a poker room and watching people play poker because they're not putting anything at risk, but they can kind of put themselves in that person's situation. Like, when you're watching a video of me opening a pack, you feel like you're opening that pack. Now, with all these coins going, how are you... Well, YouTubers will still do coin, coin op, uh, pack openings, sorry. Um, mainly the bigger YouTubers. And the, the stuff you get in those packs won't be as big. So, are the titles going to be good? Are, you know, are the clicks going to be as good? It, I think it's going to reduce the, the actual community. Um, the size of the community and the inter, interaction of the community. Because... The fact that coin sellers was in here, the fact that we can buy a Ronaldo, buy a 99 Ronaldo, buy a Pele, do a video on it, 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 it creates a buzz. It creates a huge thing. Um, you can't do you can't do that anymore. It's going to create some. It's going to create some creative ideas. Um, for example, an example here, Spencer Owen. I know he doesn't um, advertise coins. Does everything without coins, and he makes some amazing series what my favorite series because I, I like rose glories i like traditional rose glories if you don't know what a traditional rose glory is it's basically start from nothing add some different twists and ideas in there uh, maybe open some packs here and there um he, i don't think he trades but for example you know some people do a little bit of trading so i quite like that i like the fact that you don't take that fast track and just buy ronaldo you know so that's, that's my idea and i think hopefully some more series could come about like that but as i just said are they going to get views? Is it is someone that's you know earning X amount of money right now? Are they going to be able to upload good content, traditional roads glories, that kind of thing, and still get the views? I'm going to tell you right now, no. Also, guys, before this video ends, I've got another point to talk about. So um, you might have seen it as well on Twitter. If someone, for example, like Spencer Owen, um, Hugh Wizzy, MGH Gaming, if they don't advertise coins. Um, they get rewarded with players. I, I, I think I've got the names correct there of the YouTubers that do get it. I've seen it on my Twitter feed. Kazooie, for example, I think, uh, FIFA Riley. They get rewarded the top three players from Team of the Week, which, by the way, is fuck all. It, <laughs> I mean, right now, um, it means fuck all. But, you know, without coin sellers, it means a little bit more. But it's not that great. You know, it's probably like... 20 pounds worth or if that I don't know 20 30 pounds worth, but it's something now what if EA actually managed to be able to Help FIFA YouTubers out because at the end of the day We make we advertise your game and we're not actually asking anything from you This is by the way imagining that coin sellers are gone. We aren't advertising coin sellers. So theoretically we're not breaking any rules uh, we're not pissing them off. So what if you know EA actually gave youtubers a certain amount of coins each month uh, To make videos with um, just a random idea Thought I'd throw it out there a lot of you guys are probably thinking oh you just want the coins because you're you know You think you're important and you you want to keep the coins and do things. I really don't give a shit um, I have I buy coins and I, I play FIFA 90% of the time now uh, because it's my job and I want to make good content that's the honest truth. Like, I don't ever, I rarely, rarely, rarely sit down and think, you know what? I'm going to have a good game of FIFA now. I'm not going to get lagged out at EA servers and I'm not going to pay uh, 15 million coins for a player that should be like free. You know, what, that's a sarcastic comment if you didn't pick up on it. So, what I'm trying to say is, you know, this could be a good start. It could be a, a, a beginning of a good thing or it could be a complete fuck up from EA. And uh, if it is a complete fuck up from EA, because it's halfway through FIFA 15, they can revert the changes, which is uh, a, a quite a likely cause right, right now. Or, ultimately, they can have these price ranges, and they can be a massive, massive loophole. Um, or, maybe not even a massive loophole, just a, just a little loophole, where coin sellers get through and still advertise. You know, we can still advertise coins, and um, you know, nothing changes in a couple of months. But there's definitely going to be downtime of coin sellers, um, which I'm not looking forward to, because it's going to create a little bit of... Um, uncertainty for myself uncertainty for my friends that do youtube that um you know earn money as well through coin selling so yeah thought i'd get it off my chest thought i'd talk to you guys about you know these things if you didn't understand what's happening and why people are making a big fuss of it that's the reason why because as a youtuber um obviously we have a good understanding of how things work and also we get paid by selling coins so it's a it's a big thing for us so i uh, hope you understand um 
Leave your comments in the comment section as to you know the pros and cons. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? What do you think they're going to do? Do you think they're going to remove? Do you think they're going to revert the changes? Do you think they're going to keep it there? Do you think it's a test for FIFA 16? There's so many things it could be. Um, just let me know in the comments, guys, and uh, I'll try and reply to as much as I can. And I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.